Hey everybody, so you can see that we're kind of hanging out with our friend the ESP that many of us in the Intune game know far too well. So the question is, what are we doing today, right? So we're actually handing up part two of our kiosk extravaganza on Windows. Today this will be looking at the restricted user experience, which is more commonly known as multi-app kiosk. The idea is to give a toned down desktop, all of the apps we want access to, along with some customizations, things like the start menu and stuff like that. So we're going to take this ESP for a ride and, and see, see on the other side and hope we have that great restricted user experience I was just talking about. We'll be back in a couple minutes. You can see there's the screen we know pretty well <clears throat> as it's doing the final setup before we get into the, get into the operating system. So one of the things you'll see when you work through this here is it becomes very iterative. So you'll work on this and you'll look at it and you go, do I like this? I notice this is a lot, this is kind of garbagey. And so essentially what you'll spend a lot of time doing here is you'll kind of go through and I'll show you real quick. We can, we'll take a look at this because it's just kind of fun. I'm going to pull in the schema here. Okay, just to talk about this for fun. So this is the documentation for assigned access, right? So, you know, say you want to, you don't like how that taskbar looks, and we don't. So, and this gives you kind of an example, but it's not a great example. So what you can actually do is, so first you start at the XML schema definition for assigned access, right? And you say, okay, this is the stuff that they kind of support, blah, blah, blah. And we can see here they support the taskbar element. So what we're actually going to do here is we're going to go look at the schema of the taskbar. And we're going to see that one of the things that they do support is they so you can see they support like the taskbar pin list and you know it shows you the different elements that are supported. And you'll see here for taskbar pin placement, they support replace. And so what this actually tells us is that we, we're going to go ahead and modify the XML to do a replace, which means, and those of you who know about certain things we're into, you know, replace means kill everything and just put the stuff in there we want in there. And so we're going to kind of work with replace. We're going to, we update the XML, we push it out, and let's see what we get. So you can see I rebooted, we're logging back in. Let's see what we see. So you can see here, it's been cleaned up a little bit. It will not let you get rid of Copilot for whatever reason. But, but you can see here is now we've got a, a cleaner interface here. Giving us kind of exactly what we're looking to get. You know, we have... some office apps, which is fine. But you can see here is overall, we have a very clean landscape now that we're working with. And this just kind of gives you, you know, some of the examples and things that we're able to do with, you know, assign access and that restricted access sex session.